truck bed installer Pine Hill. Today I'm going to show you how to install hood mount mirror bars on a 2021 Ram. These are the tools you're going to need to do the job. We have a 3 8 impact, a half inch wrench, a 13 millimeter socket, a 10 millimeter socket, a tape measure, and a pair of scissors. These are the parts that come in the kit when you buy mirror bars. You're going to have your double mirror bar here, your two extensions, one is angled, and the other one is straight, and you're going to have your two mirrors. You're going to have two of these smaller 3 8 T-bolts, two of these bigger half inch T-bolts, four 5 16 bolts, four 5 16 lock washers, two 3 8 bolts, and then your two brackets to mount your mirror bar. These are your hood mounts. They do not come in your kit. They are sold separately and they are specific to your truck. And these are some optional parts that are sold separately. A spot mirror and protective foam. First step is you want to pop your hood. Applying your protective foam, you want to apply it right in this corner that is going to go up against your hood. You want to hold it up here to get your length and hold that. And then you want to take your scissors and just cut that piece off. And then you peel your sticky back off and press it right down in this corner. the nuts that are fasten your hood to the hinge. I'm going to use my 3 8 impact with my 13 millimeter socket. Now we're going to install the hood mounts under the hood. They go between the hood and the hinge. So you want to pick up your hood. You want to get this corner against your hood there and roll it up onto the first stud. For dodges, you have this back space where it goes on the back stud. So you want to pick up your hood and your bracket and hold it together and slide your spacer on the bottom stud. Drop your hood back into place. Okay, now we're going to put our nuts back on to fasten down our hood. Now I'm going to take my impact and 13 millimeter socket. You want to be careful tightening. You don't want to over tighten and strip out your nuts. Also, when you're putting this on, you want to try to line your paint marks back up so you know you have your hood in the correct spot. Wondering if you have it on the right way, you want this rod for the dodges to be toward the front of the truck. If you would put it on the wrong way, this rod would be toward the back of the truck. Now we're going to be loosening the bolts on top of the fender. I'm going to be using my impact, my 10 millimeter, and my 13 millimeter. Try to 
pull your fender out, that will give you some gap for this piece to go between the fender and the hood. Gonna tighten down the rest of our bolts. Just be careful not to over torque and strip your bolt. Close our hood very slowly, and you want to watch this bracket and make sure it's not coming down on top of your fender and scratching the paint. Next, we're going to attach this bracket that goes onto your hood mount to attach your mirror bar. You want to slide this right over that rod, then you want to take your small T bolt and thread it in, but no need to tighten it down yet. Now for the other side, we're going to take this bracket and we're going to install it on the mirror bar. I'll explain why in the next clip. When you place it on, you want to take your 5 16 bolt and lock washer, and that's how you're going to fasten it down. Now we have our mirror bar with our bracket already attached. And we attached that earlier to reduce the risk of dropping it on your hood. The way you want to put it on safely is you want to put this over this rod and then you just swing it around. And place it onto this bracket. Now you want to take your 5 16 bolt and lock washer and you want to fasten your bracket to your mirror bar. And you just want to do that hand tight for right now. Now we're going to measure our mirror bar to make sure it's centered. I measure from the square tubing out to the outside. And on this truck, I have three and a half inches on each side. Now with our mirror bar center, we're going to tighten up these bolts underneath. For that, I'm going to use my half inch wrench. Now we're going to tighten up the other side. extension bars on the passenger side. For this side will be the one with the angle and you want the angle facing toward the front and the purpose of this angle is uh, nothing obstructs your view from inside the truck. Now with your extension in you want to take your half inch T-bolt and thread it into this nut. Now we're going to do the driver's side mirror extension. For this one we have a straight. It is optional that you can get another angle one for the driver's side, but that is your preference. Again, put your half inch T-bolt into this nut. Now you want to go back through and tighten all your T-bolts down. Okay, now we have our mirrors. We 
We want to take the mounting bolt out and all the washers. And you can take the shorter bolt that comes with the mirror, put it off to the side. So we're going to be using a longer bolt that fits through this tube. Now you're going to take your lock washer, regular washer, and your nylon washer, and put it on your longer bolt. Then you want to take your other nylon washer and flat washer, set it on top of the tube, then put your bolt up through the tube and screw it into your mirror. Now for this side, we're going to do the same process as the last side, except for routing the spot mirror. And to do that, you want to put your bolt up to the tube, your nylon washer, put your spot mirror on, and try to hold the bolt in the mirror. And then that will get sandwiched between this mirror and the bar. I'm going to take my 9 16 wrench and tighten the mirror down. The hood mount mirror bars are now installed. Thank you for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for our next how-to video on how to install oversized load sign front bumper mounts.